or something because it's lunchtime here and it is it's not a not a pleasant sight. You take your life in your hands, run to the food truck here. I'm telling you, I mean, it really <laughs> is. Um, it really is a downpour out there. Either way, the guy's getting ready. What a better day, though. Honestly, James, we spoke about this a little bit earlier, but the perfect day to sit indoors all day and play COD. Really, yeah. like perfect. You can't ask for more. If the sun was shining, I'd have the tiniest reservation, the tiniest reservation yeah. about sitting indoors and doing this all day. But otherwise, hell no. This is CWL Sydney, boys and girls. We're on day one. This is the third match of pool play. And the guys are getting ready there. So, I mean, go, uh, with what we've seen already, obviously the big dogs have been hitting the hardest. We've got Chiefs. Uh, well, sorry, we've got Tainted Minds and Mind Freak already winning their games in 3-0 fashions already. You know, the Chiefs, if I have to think of a kind of trifecta of APAC teams, who are the big dogs? It's Chiefs, Mind Freaks, and Tainted Minds. You know, there are yeah. other teams in the rotation who are still very, very good. But as far as long-running organizations being involved in the scene, these guys have been around, you know, and they've, they've always been up there, James. And yeah. Me. Do you think there's any changes? I mean, of course, Infamous coming into the scene, you know, you guys looking great in that previous series. Do you think there's anyone here that is on the up and up to kind of break into that top three, or? Oh, it's hard to say. Of course, the bias in me wants to say Infa, but, you know. Do uh, it. <laughs> Do it. But, the, you know, there, there are a lot of other really good teams coming into this event. Um, some of them only formed relatively recently, but they're full of very experienced players. So I'm looking at play, uh, teams like Rampage Black, oh, sorry, uh, Validate Black and Rampage. Um, and then there's the, uh, what's the other one? The one, uh, Chilean's team. They've been thrown together as well quite recently. Claw, Chilean's, uh, Beast, and I can't remember their fourth. But, you know... Oh, sc Scrisms? Scrism. 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 I, was gonna I wanted to find him today and ask him, how the hell do I say your name? I'm almost <laughs> certain going to mess that one up a bit later but, on. Yeah, like, there, there's definitely some teams that can come into this event and make upsets happen and are definitely trying to knock off some of these top three teams. Yeah, upsets are really what we want. We want to see amazing plays. We want to see tears... We're all about the tears, man. I mean, uh, maybe the it's the it's the Schadenfreude in me, but I love to see <laughs> I love to see a good you know fairy tale story where the you know the top dogs get brought down. But hey, we'll see if we get a bit of that later on today. CWL Sydney is filling up, boys and girls. I mean, the open bracket is still happening as we speak. We may or may not get some updates for you there if there's any teams uh, making any any spectacular runs, spectacular plays. But regardless, pool play is happening here on the main stage in Sydney. And we're gearing up for the Chiefs versus Rampage. It is going to be a screamer. James, any early predictions? Oh, God. This is, this is one of the hard parts, absolutely, because of the, the way that the Chiefs have been in the past few months. I'd have to give them the 3-0 just from how I've seen. But, you know, Rampage, we haven't seen them play that much since the uh, Asian Championships. And, you know, going into this event, they could be—they could have something in their back pocket that we have no idea about. And you know, as I said before, I've seen them in scrims. They took very close games against Unveil Nova, which you can recall from the Asia Championships. They got absolutely slaughtered in that grand final in the uh, in, in the hard point, at least. But we are in the rig draft here. Nothing out of the ordinary uh, so far. The only difference being the uh, FTL on Lakey in comparison to the Overdrive on uh, Gray there. So. I don't know whether or not one of those might, you know, prove to be more beneficial than the other, but we're going to be loading up into Breakout Hardpoint. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Breakout Hardpoint has been the name of the game for every match you've seen so far in the series. It's pool play round one. We're all going to play the same game types. You're going to get two more of these later today. So believe us, this won't be the last time you see a bit of Breakout Hardpoint. But look, we've had some great displays so far from, from different teams of how different styles and how they like to play this one. We saw the Chiefs. Oh, sorry, we saw Mind Freak uh, conceding early uh, rotations in order to get big kills and hold on to those chunks of time after breaking setups. You know, we saw TM just running pain train right through Unveil Nova. They were they were hitting hard and hitting fast early on, and it was very difficult to break those setups from the other side. But look, we'll see how the Chiefs play this one out. Whew, it's going to be a good game. I think I'm going to give the uh, the respawn game types definitely in the favor of the uh, APAC or the A and Z teams. I just feel like the pace here. The, the level of gun skill, the way that these guys play is just, I think they're going to have the edge there over the Asian team. But as we saw previously, you know, S&D, it's anyone's game. And I really oh. feel like Rampage, they've, they've got a solid S&D lineup. They played very, very well against uh, everyone at the Sony Asia Champs uh, there in, in sunny Seoul. Uh, yeah, I do have high hopes for them going into the S&D. This is one of the things that we've seen globally uh, across the board. You know, you've got the NA teams that the APAC teams have had to try and match their pace in the past and are only sort of getting to that stage where they're able to. And, and we've talked about it, Vile was talking about it a lot in the last series. You know, Mind Freak, they took some respawns off at big NA teams, FaZe being one of them. 
you know, that's one of the things that we haven't been able to do in the past from our region, but I feel like now this is where the Asian teams, this is, they're now in that, in those shoes uh, where they need to start and step up to our level coming against these top ANZ teams. But we are going to kick it off here, ladies and gentlemen. Hard point on breakout. And uh, I think we need to start off with the new pickup, Eminence. Chief Reef kicking things off for the Chiefs. Going for that big wide rotation there. He's going to be pushing through loading. Will he count anyone on the outside? He's got one player coming in, but he's going to go for the low wall run. He's got backup from his team, Dean and Fate. Get one each. So that's an early three kills. Oh my, all dead for Rampage. We've got two of them alive. and But they did get the opening couple of seconds, but it looks like the Chiefs are going to hold on mid-map. Look at the split spawn coming out of this Rampage lineup. They might be able to pinch the Chiefs in here a bit, but Lakey, he's trying to stay alive on top of the hill. Can't find that kill there. And, you know, just as we saw the three down from uh, Rampage, that's going to be three down on the Chiefs. So Rampage break back in very nice nicely there. Chiefs, they all get the same spawn, which helps in these team, uh, these team fights, but right now it's a little bit back and forth. We always talk about this mid-hill being very back and forth, and it is the name of the game so far. 10 points to 12 in favour of Rampage. Scrappy starts for both teams, you know, tied up early on at this stage. 10 to 12 with Rampage with the lead for two seconds, but can they hold on it for long? Dean gets gifted a kill with Ranger, gets to peek up his skirt and gets the kill. We've got kills all across the board. It's all blue right now, baby. Chiefs getting three down. Ranger, only member alive for Rampage. We're on board with Lakey now, as he's completely aware of the spawns. I mean, look at that gun say. He's trailed on three members. We can see the X-Ray. Three members, oh. big kill there across map on Grey. Does a fantastic job there of slowing that push, but he knows there's going to be players coming from that direction. The fight's happening mid map right now, so on board with Dean. He's getting those shots out. Can he can he survive the onslaught? No, he can't. Blue blows him away. And now back and forth between these two teams. Blue gets two to his name. Great flank from him. Can he get a third? Almost. Eminence, though, just a little too strong, but gets taken down there by Ranger as well. And this is where we see how Chiefs are just able to hold down the spawns, but as I say, that Rampage have been able to get them back. Lakey, though, he has not died so far. Chiefs are looking set up to take the full 60 points on this hill. There is a bit of concession coming in from Rampage, so maybe not so, but Chiefs, they snuff that out real quick. And this is where Rampage probably need to start, you know, rotating a bit earlier onto that graveyard hill. And it looks like they're going to do that, but they're going to come face to face with three of the Chiefs players. We did have Grave from Rampage rotate early towards Graves here, but again brought down quickly by the triple sort of team man flank there from the boys in blue. So the Chiefs now looking very, very strong in this hard point. They're rotating early, they're rotating hard and fast. Here comes Rampage on the offensive. Eminence is going to be the first line of defense. He's got a couple of teammates behind him, backing him up. Shots out. Here comes the push. Rampage. Here they come, flying in. Three. All four members through. Dean gets one. Can they hold on? There's a bit of a trade back and forth. Eminence gets a kill of his own. Can he get a second? And the Chiefs are holding strong. 84 to 12. Chiefs defensive line holds up. That is very good work defensively from the Chiefs there. Lakey, he's on a six kill streak. I just realized that and he's just been chilling on the hard point the whole time. One minute 16 to his name. Make that a seven kill streak. He's fully streaked out and another one there. Lakey going huge. Can he get the ninth? He does there in fact and he finally gets shut down but that you cannot afford to allow a player of that caliber to go on that many kills. He kills there from the Chiefs, 117. Rampage struggling to get back on the board at this point. It looks like the graveyard has not been their hard point of choice, but they have certainly rotated early on. Now towards Commissary. So Commissary in the hands of Rampage. Can they hold on for long? They don't have too many angles covered. Gray seems to be the only member alive in the hard point. He's going to get flushed out here. Doesn't manage to get the shots. Gets brought down by Lakey. So great heads up play from the Chiefs there. Managing to push through, get those kills on the players, and now catching those guys on spawn, trying to get the cutoffs. So Dean in a prime position here to get a couple. Great positioning for him there. He's sitting top security. He's got shots out all over the place. Watching that mid map run, it's a superb play from the Chiefs. Eminence getting dropped by Gray there in the middle of the map. So as they're trying to set up for the mid rotation, the second rotation of Hills. Chiefs here just trying to establish a bit of map control going forward. There's still 20 seconds remaining on the current hill, but as it stands, Rampage, they've been able to clean up shop a little bit. I don't know if they're trying to chase some scrap time here. That wouldn't be smart, but there is going to be one player setting up, waiting for the rotation of the hill. That's going to be Ranger. Just trying to stay alive. He's getting naded down here. Puts his Centurion down, I believe that was. Or maybe something of the sort, Blue. He's able to find one kill, but... The Chiefs, they've rotated very, very well and been able to get a couple of kills. Rampage, though, they snuffed that out quite quickly. Good job from Rampage now, running the hard point. They've got that first hard point again, 28 and rising, 158 to the Chiefs. They've got a mountain Ooh. to climb, but they can do it. They've got the boots on. It is not going to be 127 hours where they have to cut their arm off at the end of all of it. They're going to make it all the way, baby. 38 and climbing. This is a great hold from the boys of Rampage Gaming. They're still hanging on to this one, and it took a lot of effort from Fate there to get in a huge two-piece 
and finally going down to Grey. So excellent stuff. Chief's finally coming back into it, but a huge chunk of time for the boys in Rampage. Good stuff from them. Blakey just trying to stay alive here. He's got his FTL jump to use, but I don't think he's going to use it just as of yet here. 20 seconds remaining on this hill, and Chiefs, they've got the spawns for the cell block hill, so they can just wait it out and maintain those spawns to keep pushing Rampage back to the back of the map, and they'll be set up onto the next hill once again. And this right now is looking all in the way of Chiefs. Lakey, he's so insane right now. I was talking about him before. 19 for six right now, he is going off. Yeah, Lakey's going huge. He's fully streaked out. He's 125 away from his next Trinity Rocket, so he's actually had two of those already. Uh, you know, Lakey, 19 to six, huge stuff from him. He's already on a four streak. Great job from Ranger, penetrating the half point. Does get one kill, can't find the second there. Eminence just getting the best of him. Scarab in the hands of Fate now as well. He's got 300 away from a second one. Watching that back door, although the spawns fell in the favor of Rampage. Two kills, no, Ranger gets one. Manages to keep it alive. He's got spawns, no, he doesn't anymore. He's now dead, so Eminence. And uh, it looks like Fate's actually now holding out back. And here comes a play from outside. That wall run is going to be heavily populated by members of Rampage in any second now. Can the Chiefs hold on? It's 218 to 42. They're looking to put him into the 100 club. Rampage going to do something special now. This is crunch time for Rampage. They're down by so much, and Lakey, he's going to use his streaks here. See whether he can't get any kills out of that Scorcher. Just have to wait and see for it to come in. Nothing going to come out of it. Tried to get some tags in on play. So there are a couple of weak players on the hill, but Chiefs, they're not there, able to capitalize on that. And Rampage, they've got the respawn. Oh, sorry, they've got the rotation here and able to get the first few points on the board on this graveyard hill. Yeah, it was a good play. You know, they used the bombardment to clear it, try to clear out that graveyard hill, but it wasn't going to find anyone. Eminence gets two. Dean goes down to Fate, and Fate picks up a couple more. I mean, it's just a massacre right now. Chiefs. What an incredible run to blast on through. Rampage just got wiped out entirely. Lakey with his second Trinity Rocket there, and he's just getting kills of plenty. That's going to be 250 to... 51. 51. There's the screen. <laughs> 250 to 51. That. Amazing stuff there. Chiefs coming out hard. That was a reminiscent somewhat of the Tainted Minds game. Chiefs hit. Yeah, Chiefs hitting really hard early on. They get those early kills. You know, they initiate the fights they want, and although the guys on Rampage are rotating early and getting the herd point first, it's those engagements that the Chiefs are winning. Absolutely huge stuff from them. So Chiefs, yes. one up in the series so far. Breaking that hill was literally the name of the game for Chiefs. Whether If they lost it, probably 10 seconds later, they had it once again. And <laughs> That's just reflected on the scoreline, but Leahy, 25 for 8. That man is a monster. And 20, uh, 2 minutes 44 on the hill. He was objective and slay for his...